Hey YouTube, it's Emmanuel from Tech Insomnia. And today I've got a gorgeous early 2009 24 inch iMac. It's just doing a data transfer right now to an external hard drive. I put a fan on it, it's been going for a few hours. This thing's rocking the original one terabyte drive inside this computer. So we're gonna be switching that out with an SSD today. I pulled out the original RAM. I upgraded it right now, as you can see, to eight gigs. It originally came with four gigs. These two chips right here, and I upgraded to the Timec dual four gig, eight gig kit from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below. I also got this one, which is a 1TB Western Digital SSD. We're gonna be swapping out the one terabyte hard disk drive for this one inside. We just gotta wait for this backup to complete and we'll be all good to go. I'm actually using this computer right here, which is a newer iMac. This one running the newest Sonoma 14.3.1, which is compatible with this computer. I'm using this computer to basically create the Monterey installation for the 2009. The 2009 can't take Ventura or Sonoma due to lack of non-metal GPU and uh, something to do with the USB, I think 2.0 or 1.2. You've got to read the OCLP install notes, like super important, and maybe even search on Reddit for the exact computer you're installing to see how other people have fared. This iMac that I'm using to create the installer is a mid-2011, and it's running the newest Sonoma that it could. It couldn't run 14.4, only because there were some issues with the display. But I mean, it's pretty smooth and stable on 14.3.1. If you have one of these Macs and are thinking of upgrading it, OCLP 1.4.2 is honestly the best OCLP they've ever made. Once OCLP is finished creating this installer, I'll pop that USB into this computer. But I'm gonna use this time right now to, I guess once the data transfer is over, 13 hours, that's no good. <laughs> As soon as this transfer completes, I'll pull this hard disk drive out of the computer, upgrade to the one terabyte SSD, and we'll use that USB key we're creating on the other iMac to install Monterey. How will Monterey run on this 2009 early 24 inch? Only time will tell. So I've got it open now. I mean, it's pretty dusty. Look at that. This'll do well with a nice full interior cleaning. There's the patient right there. Got the vents pretty clean now. Just a little bit of patience, micro attachments for the vacuum, little bristle, so you can kind of like get in there while it's vacuuming. I mean, the best way really is to take the fans out. Sometimes you're in a rush. Out with the old, in with the new. I don't know what you're thinking. The heck is these zip ties doing here? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not moving. With this tray, I need to get the SSD as close to these ports as possible. So I couldn't use a longer tray that had the SSD in the center. So minus these two screws. This zip tie alone is really holding it in steady. It's not moving. And then I just got these extra two here to hold the sensor. All in all, pretty clean. It's not going nowhere. One more zip tie just to get that original pad back on. Had to take the entire thing apart again because I used the wrong SSD. Apparently that Western Digital Blue is not SATA 2 backwards compatible. So I threw in an Evo 870. And as you can see here, it's showing up. <laughs> Good tip. Look on the internet, search Reddit. Try and Google what you're attempting to do before you even do it. Can definitely save you some time in the long run. OS is installed and I mean, man, it's pretty stable. So far, so good. Took the eight gigs of RAM well. Got OpenCore Legacy Patcher 1.4.2. All the post-install root patches are installed. We've got everything. Got the transparent menus. I mean, this really turned out well. One tip I can offer, for sure. Stick with that 870 or 860 EVO SSD. <laughs> I'm just holding my camera right now because I don't have the mount available. But I mean, all in all, it's moving pretty quickly. I know a lot of viewers are probably gonna say, oh, well, you know, the internet speed depends more on your internet. I don't have any kind of special internet. <laughs> 
I've got pretty much a comparable internet to likely whatever it is that you have. So there's no uh, magic, there's no tricks. OCLP has come a long way in the last couple of years. And I mean, the combination of this SSD just makes this computer fire. Let's try an add-on quickly. See how quick I can install it. I mean, everything opens up very quickly on this computer. I mean, if you're just using this computer for basic everyday tasks, I'd say it's more than suitable. Let's see how fast Google Chrome will just pop open. Pretty quick. Let's try Safari. Very reasonable for a 2009 on Monterey. Okay, so I just wanna quickly run through some of the parts that I use to upgrade this uh, 2009 iMac. I actually had to deliver that computer back to my client that owns it, so I didn't have time to use OBS on the actual computer itself. But this is the exact RAM, and I got it for cheap. The entire two four gig kit here on Amazon the exact speed, everything. And what I really like about this is included here in the pictures, I could actually confirm that it was in fact compatible for this exact computer, which was an iMac 91 24 inch. And then I could see the reviews, so I ordered that. For the SSD, this is the exact one here on Amazon. I'll put all these links below in the description. I actually picked it up from Canada Computers. It was on sale. If you're in Canada, this is a great place to buy computer parts. For the SSD bracket, I went with one of these type of brackets that puts the SSD on the side because there's not a lot of give on those SATA cables. This is a good example of what type of bracket you would need to use. I found a better one here on Amazon, and I'll include this uh, link in the description, which actually gives you the ability to mount the SSD inside of this full-size bracket, and then you could retain both screws that are here on the sides, and it would give you those ports right on the far side where the SATA port, data, and power connect. This way you wouldn't lose any functionality. It would be more of an easier and I guess cleaner fit. You wouldn't have to mess around with the zip ties. Now for OCLP, the installer notes, what I basically did is I type in OCLP in Google, click on the first one, okay. Download and build Mac OS installer. Open core legacy patcher releases. Very important to read the installer notes here. If I just look here from iMac 7.1 to iMac 12X is affected by exactly what they're talking about. So you shouldn't upgrade to 14.4. So very important to read these installer notes here. Another thing I did is I went to Google and I typed in every Mac 2009 iMac 24 inch. And if I click on that top link and open up this page, now I can see detailed information, not only when this computer was made, but the architecture, I can scroll through and see the processor gigahertz again, the standard RAM that ships with it, the maximum RAM installable on this computer. And I can even scroll down further and get a better idea of this actual machine that I'm trying to upgrade. So I mean, definitely a really good place to stop in on is every Mac. Type in the type of computer that you're thinking of upgrading, whether it's software or hardware, and do a little bit of research here in order to make sure that your upgrade goes smoothly. Well, this one's done. Hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos better or if there's any computers that you guys would like to specifically see. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support. Till next time.